Rain will also impact parts of East and South Alabama. Joining us now this morning live is Lisa Castaldo with the Alabama Emergency Management Agency. And Lisa, as folks are waking up on this Friday morning, talk about some of the bigger issues that Alabama's seeing. Sure, good morning. Well, currently Alabama EMA, we, we're at a level one activation. So that means we're, we're going 24 hours with our state and federal partners here. We've been constantly communicating with our county emergency managers who are really our folks out there um, helping our, our citizens get prepared for this event. Um, the last few days focused on Hurricane Helene. I think fortunately overnight, um, we, we are getting some reports of minor tree damage, a little bit of localized flooding, but it looks like overall we fared fairly well. Um, and of course, as the sun comes up this morning, uh, local county emergency managers and local officials will begin their um, on the ground assessments to determine if there were any additional damages. You mentioned level one. What resources have been deployed so far to assist those people who may be seeing some damage this morning? Yep, so, so far we're not receiving a lot of requests, but we are prepared if, if those requests start coming in to support. But we have a very strong network of local emergency management offices across the state, and they have been, um, you know, also activated and preparing for this. So anything citizens might need have been at the ready for them. But again, luckily, so far we, we've seen very, very, very minor damages. A lot of times when the storm hits hit neighboring states, Alabama will send help. Are we sending help to either Georgia or Florida as they seem to be taking the brunt of the storm? Yes. Yeah, so uh, actually, the, all of our southern states, well, the, all the states in the country, but particularly our southern states are our neighbors. And this time, our neighbors to the east, they did, they they obviously re received the brunt of this storm. So over uh, the next day or so, as our threats decrease, we'll start to look at ways that we can support them as they begin their response efforts. And then as they move into a, a very long recovery effort from this significant event. Lisa, you said you've gotten a few reports in. Are most of those reports in one particular area or is it, is it kind of widespread? No, there, it's really scattered. Of course, this this sort of came into the eastern, has, has lifted across the eastern part of the state. So we're seeing the same kind of typical minor tree damage and, again, localized street flooding just as, as the system moved through um, beginning late yesterday afternoon and overnight. Well, Lisa, we appreciate your time. I know you guys always prepare for the worst, and if we dodge the bullet, that's a good thing. But I know you guys are always ready if we need it. We appreciate you spending some time with us this morning on Today in Alabama. Thanks for having us. Yeah, we appreciate you being here. Thank you, Lisa.